find them. There is on their screen. Are we underway for qualifying? All important. Four points, four pole position. And I'm bored with Ham Jam. Maxi will be on board with Jam. The two championship rivals, the other people, other drivers will fight amongst themselves as we go through the first sector. Ham Jam down in 16th place at the moment. But I'm sure that will develop as the lap unfolds. How is Jam getting on at the moment? Sitting in the midfield at the moment. Sitting P9. Oh, he has got a decent launch though, so that's going to put him up to 7th at the moment. But yeah, as, as we can afford, Daniel could have a bit of pace, and so far, that's your man that is leading the way. Yeah, well, he's in a fight. As uh, James has parked in a dangerous location somewhere on the circuit, I'm not sure where, to uh, get that. But I think uh, he might have had to start from the back anyway because of his readying up early dramas. Um, but yeah, he's decided to start from the back. And they're all neck and neck and out into the final sector. We go the long, swisty final sector. Uh, but it doesn't matter if these guys are not on pole. Oh, an invalidation for Jamham. And he is now under massive pressure. No, Ham, well, all Ham needs to do is just put it on the on the front two rows of the grids, he'll want to get four points for pole. Um, so will other people. Darnell's in a championship fight for third place. And it's already advantage Ham as he is uh, coming around the final couple of corners now. Turn 20 and he's sliding the car through turn 21. Who is going to be on pole? Who's going to get four points for pole position? They're up towards the line. It is Ham Jam who gets on pole position for the F2 feature race. And he is four points clear of his championship rival, his brother, his twin, Jamham, for the F2 title fight. And how important is that pole position, Maxwell? That is massive. It's the fact as well, it did seem for probably about 5% of that lap, but he was behind Darnell. Even getting into that final corner, I felt like Darnell was still ahead, judging by the game, but Am Jam steals it on the line, and as I say, four points, and with his title rival down in 18th place, it's going to be... Uh, a tough ask, and it might be damage limitation for Jamham here. Put himself in a good position for the, the sprint race, but uh, I think we might see some alternate strategy here. Yeah, we do. It'll be interesting to see what uh, what uh, the thought process is. I, I'm sure that alternate strategy is, well, usually, I know in real life F2 that the alternate strategy is pretty much the way to go. Um most of the time um but will ham want to go clear will he want to protect himself against a early safety car uh we'll have to wait and see can jam spring a surprise at all who who knows um but yeah we'll have to wait and see got some plenty of chat action um so far uh panther says getting flashback to our little uh tab here last season uh yeah that is uh well, I kind of remember it a little bit, but, you know, it, it's a distant memory now. So, uh, yeah, uh, Matt Sill says Hamilton versus Rosberg 2016 vibes. You could say so, yeah. And um, you are correct, Ham leads by four points now because of the four points for pole position. Um, so then we have now uh, is 19 viewers, um, aka punting you off track. Well, I mean... I uh, yeah we'll we'll just gloss over that but it, it's completely fine um but yeah 19 viewers so watch us along for this future race ham will lead us away on the formation lap and uh, we'll have a look at the tires to see what's going on and uh, it looks like um everyone well most of the grid are opting for the alternate strategy a few drivers uh, going for the fast start. So we're looking at Darnell could be quite adventurous in the opening few laps. Southerner looking to make up a few places from six. And then in the midfield, we've got McEwen and Check as well on that strategy. And at the back, non right below key. Uh, I think this is either his third or fourth appearance in F2. And we'll be starting on the Super Softs in 19th place. Apart from that, everyone else is on the Softs. Yeah, so what we could expect here is for Darnell to take the lead 
um, early on, which is what he will be wanting to do, starting on the super soft tyres. Um, so yeah, I think we'll see maybe some early moves from some of the Brindy boy uh, is up in P5. We never really mentioned that, um, but he is up in P5. Solid debut. And, uh, yeah, very good. And we'll see. Uh, Dorsey says, would you rather be ham for a day or jam for a day? You know what? I wouldn't care because they're winning races, winning championships. So that'd be nice to win win some more. Um, I, I wouldn't mind being either. And they're both, both great. So uh, I couldn't choose um, for the diplomatic answer anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go, go through the grid. We have ham on pole. Darnell in second place on the super soft tyres. Then comes Freeman in third. And Race Roller in fourth. Battling Darnell for third in the championship. Brindy Boy on debut in fifth. Some of the, uh, at the moment, outsider for third place. And he's looking for a fast start in sixth. Then comes Beast. Uh, Sem, McEwen, Van Dorn round out the top ten. Uh, ten, point, ten positions that can score points in this race. Uh, then comes Czech. And uh, Night Ranger in 12th, Allen 13th, then Baggy Fan, Barlow, uh, original men's jam is down in 18th. He'll be looking uh, to get, well, anything good. He'll take anything, I think, from this, and he'll be praying that something happens to his championship rival. Um, then comes Loki, then comes Slad. But they are now all in line on the grid. So we will shortly be underway to start our feature race. It has been a long wait to get here, but we are not long away from getting the championship underway. There are five lights ahead of the drivers. It's a long wait, but we are underway here in Abu Dhabi, and it's a good start from Hamjam at the front, and he leads going into turn one. Free wide in the background. Some of us backs out. The race roller is on the inside. And he stays ahead, and he goes ahead of Freeman into third place. They seem to be all in oh, line. Get baggy sleeping. Side by side. As there's a yellow flag in the background. And I think that is baggy off. It is baggy off in the background. And he is the first casualty at the moment. Um, but he is back underway. As there's a couple of side by side moments between the two Shrews. You no, know, and the Shrews and uh, the... MP Motorsport car of Sem, who is making some moves. He's side by side now with the other Sharus, and they are they going to go free wide? And uh, there's been a big crash in the background. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, but there is a safety car already, and I'm not quite sure what happened there. But there's been a collision at the back. I didn't catch it, I'm afraid, uh, Merck. So I was actually just uh, following the onboard the jam just to see how we done off the start. As you know, started down in P18, way up to P11. Yeah, Fantastic start, managed to get through the pretty much unscathed. Uh, as I say, Baggy, I, I don't know if Baggy was just a case of getting on the power too early, but he kind of veered off to the left hand side. Other kind of moves, he did he just so much more grip ahead than Night Ranger when he made the move there. Uh, another move off the start was I, I don't know if James was just backing off to to get back to the, the back of the grid because his DSQ had put him a little bit higher so that uh, he'd get by there. But yeah. 11th place already um, and right on the back of, of Czech and McEwen once the safety car clears yeah and uh, he's already in the chat saying that uh, it looks like Menz is the Arden who span in front of him and he just lost control and that was it he was a passenger and in the wall um, but yeah this is well as you were really um it'll be interesting to see because you can pit from the end of lap three it'll be interesting to see as uh, the timing screens decide to do their usual and uh we'll wait to sort themselves out but it'll be interesting to see at the end of lap three or on lap two um it'll be interesting to see at the end, uh, if any of those super soft drivers come in but it is going to be a long way to the end from there uh if they do decide to come in I'd like to hope as well that the safety car would get in this lap because the field are all caught up already and we're just at the start of Sector 2, so hopefully we can have a very brief period here and we can get racing. Let's hope so. Um, everyone's here, nobody's pitted. And uh, hopefully... Everyone... Oh, as someone's lost the car. Let's check. 
losing the car and uh, Jam lets him go back past him. Uh, yeah, he's up into 11th already and that is the start he would have wanted. And uh, let's have a look as uh, this drop in positions again. So I'm not sure what's going on at the moment back there. We have uh, check and jam, but we'll have a brief look. And uh, he is definitely ahead now. So I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but he's got another position. So he'll take that. It could possibly be a case of maybe when checks are off track, the games not allow jam to go through. And then when jams went to do a sportsman like thing, the games maybe penalising them, saying, you know, you know let, they let the car through. So it's possibly something like that. Uh, that could of course check there, but yeah, as you say, 10th place, it's a, a good spot to be in for Jam Hunt, considering he's qualified. Um, we have no notification, I, well, not that I saw that safety car would be in this lap, because um, I'm not getting many notifications from uh, this game, but it doesn't look like safety car's slowing down at all. Uh, but I do expect it to be in the end of next lap anyway, um, so we're going to go for another long old lap another couple of minutes of waiting to see um whether the safety car decides to come in or not but we were going to go around for another lap which i mean i don't know why but yeah my um, wants cannot... a spotlight <laughs> yeah yeah he said all this talk about a championship finale uh but that was like yeah let me just let me just drive around there for one more lap because uh i want in on this action um, but yeah, Jam was the biggest gainer. Eight positions now. And uh, a couple of position changes. Summer got ahead of Brindy. And uh, Race Roller got ahead of Freeman at, at the race start at Turn 1 as well. So uh, a couple of moves at Turn 1. And then we had Baggy spinning at Turn 3. Uh, men's had a spin which caused uh, James to DNF. And then, then a couple of uh, movers in the middle as well. Um, but yeah, there's the jam did uh, did what he had to really, and uh, got a clean start, and uh, probably went better than he was expecting. You got to feel as well that this may have hampered the likes of Darnell, Southerner, McEwen, and Czech, and the uh, non-right blokey because obviously the the prime time they'd be wanting to use these tires is getting eaten away under the safety car, so they're not going to get the full effects of those super softs. No, they are not, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see how it plans out, but we've already got a safety car, and we didn't even get through Sector 2, so um, yeah, we've had about half a lap of, let's say, green flag racing, um, about half a lap. Safety car is in this lap, um, so if any drivers who are going to chance their arm at coming in, at the end of the will probably choose not to this time, but I'm sure their tyres will be uh, fresh enough to go a bit longer. But Ham can control the pace and let the safety car go. There is a long final sector, one of the longest final sectors on uh, the calendar. And uh, yeah, the safety car should be should be away uh, by the time they get under restart, we'll get the restart underway, and uh, there should be no dramas about slowing down and catching up to the safety car and uh yeah as the safety car goes around turn 20 and it will pull into the pits ham comes around turn 19 and uh he is weaving the camera angles here are pretty horrible so f1 tv can you can you give me some good ones and uh as we have a view of turn 20 here he comes when's he gonna go he's maybe around the final corner looks like he's gone already and uh we are underway here once again Comes around the final corner now and uh, he leads the pack away. Green flag racing as a few drivers already coming into the pits on those super soft tyres. Darnell stays out there and uh, Loki stays out, but the rest come in and they have gone for uh, the undercut, the big undercut on onto the soft compound tyres. Ham leads by about four tenths of a second and uh, Loki's making some moves already in the background, um, but it's all clean at the restart. Yep, all clean in the midfield as well. Was just keeping an eye on to see if um, Jam Ham was making any progress. Uh, only positions gained so far, of course. Uh, the, the guys that pitted, basically. Uh, move at the back there. Uh, a battle in between Alan and Jaylee Men's, but it looks like Alan has come out on top in that one. Alan comes out on top. And uh, if 
for the moment as it looks like Beast and Sem side by side once again. Bit of wheel banging uh, going into the chicane. And now we go up towards turn 11 and into the water triple chicane. Looks like Sem has got the run. He's got the straight line speed. Jam it, you're going to watch your look. Back in the oh, hello. There's another car on the inside. Is he going to make a double overtake down the chicane? He has the high ground and he has the move for now. He goes a little bit deep, um, but he does take that position. He is now up into P6 already. And that is crucial move for Jam Ham. And he is making moves. He really wants his championship. And he has got the bit between his teeth. I was just was noticing as that battle just kept going on and on. Like, this, this gap's getting smaller and smaller. And then out of nowhere, that air, he just squeezes through for a fantastic double overtake. Yeah, I was there. Uh, oh, the beach, then, oh, there's a big crash. That's at the um, Shadow Leclerc spot, I think. He is in the wall, but he is still in this race. And it was a hefty impact. Um, but he uh, will have to try and regroup himself and go again. Darnell's still within DRS range, but he will going to pit soon. Um, so... Uh, it looks like the battle at the moment is uh, between third and fourth place, Freeman and Race Roller. And it uh, looks like Darnell's actually made a mistake. So Race Roller is going to go for a move right around the outside. Can he make it stick? No, Darnell cuts it off. He hits the back of him, though, gives him a little nudge. And this is maybe going to allow Freeman in to have a look. He's got a no championship to fight for. These have got championships to fight for. We have another yellow flag and we have another safety car. Yeah, it's Slad that's... Turn, DNF here, yeah. turn three. Have a quick see if uh, Summoner's car catches it. Um, but yeah, looks like the classic lost the car, and he's in the wall, right front, ripped off. And uh, yeah, if, uh, Darnell wanted to pit, and uh, he should be able to pit now. So uh, yeah, I think it's it may not have worked in his favour, but it might just have now because. Uh, Super Soft Tires will definitely not make it to the end, but I'm pretty sure Soft Tires will just about make it to the end, but that's a lot of cars he would have to overtake. And I feel as well there, Nex, there was a situation where obviously they were just at that hairpin, I'm like, I think Darnell could, I don't know if it would have been activating time because of the previous safety car, but if DRS was going to be in effect, then he would have been possibly maybe a little bit of a sit and duck to race roller and then the double toe that Freeman would have got there. Yeah, I think we needed... We needed another another lap for the DRS, but it'd have still been some slipstreaming going on, that's for sure. So I think I think Darnell might have had a moment going through turn three, and uh, managed to catch it. And I'm sure he'll be happy that he uh, doesn't have to go through turn three with those tyres again, as as expected. He comes into the pit lane, and uh, he should come out ahead of his brother, and they are in a obviously in the championship fights together so uh, race roller at a disadvantage maybe at the moment and uh, yeah well you did mention that we haven't had many safety cars and then all of a sudden as uh, Jam Ham is in the pits it's an interesting one I w well, I wonder I wonder if I remember back to Britain where um, they pitted twice under safety car and uh, they did their mandatory stop, put on the put on the super soft tyres, um, and then put on the softs again and spend speeds into the pit lane. Um, but whether that will hamper his soft compound tyres for the sprint, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but Jam has come into the pit lane, interestingly. Um, but I still think that at the moment, depending on how much of a gap the drivers at the front can uh, can pull its advantage, Darnell, at the moment. Um, but they will have the uh, not the ultra softs, the purple striped super soft tyres to the end of the race. I'm really intrigued by that. I'm really intrigued to see how it plays out. Does the gamble for another safety car? Because you expect them. These tyres would maybe go up lap 12, maybe 13, because obviously not as much fuel. It's... Yeah, we'll wait and see. <laughs> he, I mean, he could have just matched his... I guess he's just going to try something, because he could have just matched um, 
but I guess he's not going to match him um, because he was in a decent position up in P6, even up P5 uh, with Darnell pitting. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a safety car. And uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see whether he comes into the pit lane again and tries a, tries a trick, but uh, I'm surprised to say the least. You know, he stays out, so uh, is he going to try and take these tyres to the end? Um, we'll have to wait and see, but it's bold. Um, I certainly don't think I'd be trying this on a championship decider, but um, fair play if he pulls it off. That's all I'm going to say. Last weekend of the SLR season, so maybe there's, if there ever is a time for some bold strategy calls, this is it. Yeah, Barlow's given Van Dorn the hurry up. Um, he's given everyone the hurry up at the moment. Um, it's on to, well, he's almost going into the going into the side of Van Dorn at the moment, and he needs to probably keep some space um, so he doesn't get a penalty for hitting the driver ahead of him. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I'll keep an eye on keep an eye on Jam. Maybe he's expecting some uh, some more safety cars. I mean, we had two already. Um, yeah, we'll wait and see. As um, ends pits again. So in his five second time penalty. Um, I do expect the safety car now to stay out another lap. So probably um, what Jam would love to see uh, if that notification doesn't come up. Um, but expect men's to, well, I don't know if he'll catch back up at all, but he is not in contention for anything at the moment. As uh, Barlow is still hasty behind the back of Van Dorn. And it looks like race roll as well. Almost going to the back of him at the front. As a uh, safety car has not coming in this lap. Uh, it hasn't been a notification yet, so it should have come in at the end of the next lap. I um, mean, Jam's got to take those tyres. Nine. Oh, we had oh no, safety car is in this lap. It was a bit of a late call. Um, we'll keep our eyes on the front. And uh, Men's, as I say, will be out of this out of this contention unless there's another safety car. Um, and don't count that out at all. And uh, yeah, Jam on the super soft tyres then. Keep an eye on him. He should be uh, set on the timing board alight and on the purple tyre. And we should see some purple sectors and uh, some moves if he uh, plays his cards right. But here comes Ham and he's waiting and it looks like he's going to wait a little longer and go a little bit later. And he's going strolling up towards the line and he's gone. And uh, Race Roller is in the slipstream, but he's too far back. And uh, he's been caught napping as Freeman's going to go down the inside into turn one. He's going to try and hold it around the outside as Race Roller. It looks like he's got it done. Freeman slots back in. Race Roller stays ahead, but that is good news for Ham as he's got some breathing space in behind uh, as well. And it's six tenths clear already. And uh, there's a gaggle of cars waiting in the background as Darnell is making some moves on Night Ranger side by side for fourth and fifth. Beast gets shown the door by Sem as he sticks it back up the inside now does Beast and they're side by side these two have been battling all race long when there has been some green flag racing and then he has to stick in behind as we go back towards uh, Darnell who's making some moves and he's side by side with Baggy Fan at the moment giving him the squeeze to the inside of the track uh, is Darnell going to go later on the brakes is he going to go around the outside he's not Baggy Fan breaks later than him oh he breaks too late though and he hits the back of the Arden. oh I think we have damage and, uh, in the RT also, as well Oh, there is damage on Jam's car, and the, the car didn't ghost. Baggy fans did ghost, but the Arden did ghost, and it's all gone horribly wrong uh, for Jam Ham there. And we have another safety another car. Another safety car. <laughs> I jinxed it before the race, but I said it's never really been many. Well, then, um, I do think we'll see. I don't know, um, but Michael Massey is trigger happy at the moment. But Jam has got damage, and he, well, he's been on the back for ever since uh, he uh, invalidated his lap time. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait and see. We'll go back on another safety car already. Um, but yeah, Mens is, uh, well, back in this race. Um, I don't think he uh, he got a three second time penalty, so Ham comes in, and I believe we'll see a lot of activity in the pit lane now um, because I think they've got no choice. Jam staying out. He's going to fight with this damage. 
But I think, just you know going what? back to the restart there, Mark, yeah. it was just a case of the guys with the the tyres that were obviously seven laps old at the time just were getting absolutely swamped. Night Ranger especially was really getting swamped there. Baggy got by him, and then it was a case of Darnell, and then followed through after was, was Jam Ham and then McEwen as well. Um, just a case of, as I say, I don't know if Baggy maybe broke a little bit too late, but that's where the, the spin it, came from. It, it looked like he... Well, I, I said that Baggy broke later, and then he hit the back of... Uh, I think, yeah, it would have been the back of Brindy. The Baggy phone ghosted. Brindy didn't. And then, obviously, he kind of just a passenger from there. Um, but yeah, there's a. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Can I think Darnell still? Well, I say Darnell's favourite, um, just because Jam has damage and he has the same or well, similar age of tyres as well, um, or same age tyres. Uh, so yeah, we'll wait and see. Um, but I'm sure Race Roller will want to get in on the fight. I'm sure Freeman will want to have a have a crack as well um because they're fighting for uh well freeman's fighting for pride on his final race and uh race roll is fighting for third in the championship and uh his rival darnell and uh other rival summoners are ahead of him so he'll be wanting to make some moves as quickly as possible um and the uh, panthers are saved car will be needing a new set of super softs at this rate um yeah i mean He's uh, a bit worn out, and uh, Bernard Mylander, um, well, if he didn't want to get in on the show before, he definitely does now. It's a bit ideal where we get the Merck for this race and we get the Aston Martin for this, the sprint race the way this is going, but it's just, <laughs> just unfortunate. Well, it's already high drama in Formula 2. It has been all season. And uh, it will continue to be high drama in F2 wherever it races, whether it's a championship finale or not. It's, uh, I believe, at the moment, Ham does have the fastest lap points, two points for that. Night Ranger comes in now, which is a little bit interesting, um, but maybe he didn't want to stack behind his teammate. Um, but he will relegate himself probably, well, if not the back, near the back, um, around where. Uh, check is at the moment um, but yeah it, it is high drama and uh, anything can still happen and it probably will happen um, Jam has got damage to the front left end plate um, but who knows could Ham get damaged we'll wait and see uh, there's always a worry that they'll get uh, blocked by safety car there's also damage to the front left of Darnell as well so um, yeah I think Ham is well, at the moment, he's in prime position to strike, but he needs to uh, keep it safe. And the only person, the highest person without damage is Summers at the moment, but he is on the oldest tyres with McEwen behind him. Um, with uh, Ham um, nipping at their heels at the moment uh, on the fresh, super soft tyres, uh, along with, uh, what's that, 10 cars uh, in a row on super soft tyres so uh, yeah it's, uh, I think uh, there's probably several races several ways this race will go um, I've got an idea in my head of how it will go um, but that might be just thrown up in the air after the first four corners of the restart safety car on lap 11 that's what I'm thinking uh, um, it's just going to be interesting to see G uh, Ham's assault here how he tackles McEwen and Summer because the softs do take a bit of time to heat back up again. I do. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, it'd be crucial if Jam can get past Darnell. Can he make his tyres last? Um, he want to be in touching distance. Um, I think with Ham's four points, he's mm -hmm. in this lap very late. Very late yep. uh, he's going to have to slow the car down. And, uh, well, they have the danger of catching up the safety car, so they have to go really slow. So it's not going to help out the soft compound tyre runners at all. So Darnell's going to go slow. He's probably going to go very late. Um, the safety car is in the pit lane now. Darnell, I say he's going to go very late. He's already gone, and he's gone early, and we're underway around the final corner now, and uh, we cross the line, and there is green flag racing once again as uh, Darnell leads us away, uh, going through turn one as it uh, looks like 
McCune was going to have a little go, and uh, Jam is struggling with the damage at the moment. And uh, Summoners is all over him like a rash, and he's going to try and have a have a look this way and that. Is he going to go down the outside? He's going down the inside. Ham is having a little look. He sticks behind. McEwen is trying to cover Ham off as well. As, uh, there's a big train behind Jam at the moment. As Darnell sprints clear, and he's already over a second clear, and uh, Jam is under huge pressure from everyone behind him. And he's hunting for the slipstream, but he's a whole second back. Yep, just a wee look there. I think the only move I saw there was Van Dorn on Brindy Boy. But yeah, as you say, it looks like Jam is struggling, and it is going to be a case of defending for his life for five laps. He's going to try, as he might, Brindy Boy and Van Dorn going at it in the background. Uh, they're all bunched up and Sem and Freeman going out in the background and Freeman has dropped all the way down to P8 now on track but he is going to try and fight back as a uh, dropped behind Beast now as a ham stays behind and we'll have a look back as they're side by side going into the chicane as a uh, Beast is trying to and he shuts the door and uh, Freeman has to stay behind for now and he is down to P9 lost a couple of positions there as uh, yeah, Ham can't get past at the moment, but he's right on the back. And McEwen, is he going to have a little look down the inside of this tricky breaking zone? No. He has to stay behind. And, well, Darnell, the longer this goes on, the happier he'll be that he can uh, secure third in the championship. But Jam is under Cyril almost into the wall. And I'm sure Darnell's not enjoying it at the moment, but he'll probably be enjoying it more. As it uh, looks like Ham is going to have a run here. He's got more grip. Is McEwen going to give him the space? He does. Side by side around the final corner. Oh, a little bit of side pod. Race roller interested. And race roller. Is he going to have a look? He doesn't want to get too hasty. He's going to have to sit behind as they come round turn one. Ham is going to go right round the outside. And he is going to stay ahead. No. McEwen fights back. This is going to get very close. And uh, he has to yield in the end. Uh, Summoners looks like he's going to go on for a move ahead. He's going to go down the inside. At turn four, jam breaks later. Is he going to go for the switchback? Someone is no. And it, oh, he is. He's going to try it going around the outside at the hairpin. Can he make that move? He's going to try and hold it around. Ham's looking interested. He's going to hunt for the slipstream as well. Someone is ahead for now. Jam's going to fight, look for the slipstream. But here, the championship rivals together on track. Ham is gaming in the slipstream. Summoners goes defensive to the middle of the track. Is Ham going to go down the inside? He has a little look. They're going to go free wide into this again. Oh, it's going to be close. They all back out in the end. A little bit of contact on the back from Ham, and that halts his momentum. Now, Jam out of the chicane. He's got a good run on Summoners. Darnell sprints clear. Two and a half seconds already. He's going outside. Yellow flag in the background. Looks like there's an instant. Move Fine, Tom. As a uh, jam backs out, hand breaks late, he's down the inside, there's all concertina effect. McCurran around the outside, oh, there's a bit of contact, and he's spun off on the side pod, and uh, that's breathing space for jam at the moment, and the side pod to side pod contact. And uh, it looks like Beast and Sem are now going side by side, but Beast gets ahead. Is Race Roller going to have a go on Ham? No. And it's all kicking off at the moment as there's a concertina effect behind Jam at the moment as he's got that damage and he is holding everyone up. And it's all kicking off here in Abu Dhabi in the feature race and we've still got four laps to go when we cross the line. And Maxwell, this is this is getting heated. It really is. It's trying to keep an eye on stuff there. If you're Darnell, you're having the time of your life out there. Uh, 2.7 seconds clear, but this is where DRS yeah. is now enabled, so this could Ooh, be Oh, Ham has a look down the inside, sorry. Maxwell, Jam cuts him off, he wasn't quite alongside, he's now alongside a little bit. Jam's going to have to give him room, race rollers, he's looking interested. Is he going to go down the inside? No, Jam is going to cut off. And oh my, well, there, here comes with Q and out, no, it's Beast out of nowhere, sorry. As uh, almost free wide going into the chicane, side by side, Beast is having a little look. They're all on each other at the moment. Menz has retired down at turn... Uh, three on the outside as they come out of the hairpin there is another safety car oh my god as uh, they all funnel for position and uh wow that almost got he oh that was all over the place at that point i didn't really know where to look um but now we have a breather we can uh take that sigh of relief i don't know who's got the position but seven beasts they're still going side by side and they're almost making contact. Uh, someone's got to yield soon enough. Um, but yeah, that was some racing. That could be Same massive least. in the co long term context for Jamham because they were about to enter DRS for the first time in a long, long time. We'd expect the move to be made. 
And now, because of where the safety car is happening, we will not have DRS again this race. It is going to have to be strictly on raw speed. Could still get him with a toe and slipstream, but of course, with them being bunched up, Jam could benefit off of the back of uh, of Southerner. So this is this is open, and the thing is, if it stays where it is as well, next to each other yeah. on the grid in the in the sprint race. Yeah, well, I think Cam had to. I think it's seventeen points maximum um, for the sprint race. So Ham, if uh, he outscored Jam by, if he still, it's still possible he outscores um, Jam by fourteen points in this race. He uh, he wins the title right here, right now. Um, he won't be thinking about that at all. Uh, but he does have faster slap. Um, I'm pretty sure he still does have faster slap, uh, which he does. Um, and I think he will keep that unless Alan sets a faster slap uh, on the fresh super soft tyres. Um, but yeah, we have to we have to say that still Ham in favour because Jam's tyres are going to be struggling. Some of his tyres are going to be struggling. Darnell uh, is probably not happy that there's a safety car because he would have probably won that race comfortably in the end um, but he'll be happy that there's no DRS to fight off um, I do expect that there'll be a safety car it should be at the in at the end of this lap so we have two laps of racing um, but yeah will Jam hold on or not uh, I I thought or I said this could go well, I have a way in my head that this would go I thought Ham was just going to clear the field that didn't happen. It was completely opposite. Um, and now he is still uh, behind his championship rival. Um, in for play. Safety car is in this lap. Um, and uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Could uh, Alan steal the show at the back there? On a, is he, he might be on a flyer at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Will uh, Darnell go early or late? Number Safety car number four. And uh, Darnell has a second bite of the cherry with his brother in behind. And uh, Ray Stroller in this fight for third place will want to have a try and get past these as well. Um, so once again, Maxwell, it could all get a little bit heated. It could get a little bit interesting. You just we, never know in Formula 2. We saw a massive sprint race in Baku. Two laps of wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat. We're about to endure it again here in SLR Formula 2. Two laps to a finish. Two laps to the finish, and uh, currently, we haven't really talked about it, Freeman is on reverse grid pole, um, but Darnell seems to have gone already, and he is going early, and he's going, and it, we have all eyes on uh, Ham Jam, as he's right on the back at the moment um, of his brother, but he's not going to go for the move now, is he? No, stays behind, as uh, Darnell leads from his brother Summoners, and then Jam leads in third from his brother and he's going very slow through turn two and that halts Ham's run. Oh, he's so slow through turn three with that damage. Ham has to hit the back of him. Race roller now is going to try around the outside. Ham breaks later, almost hits the back. Oh, there's contact between the championship leaders and uh, Ham managed to keep it uh, in there and uh, Race Roller's had to uh, hold back a little bit and uh, Freeman and Sem going side by side. They're almost free wide on the exit of the hairpin and now as the two leaders find out out front, as uh, Alan has retired at the exit of turn three, Jam is uh, weaving this way and that. I think Alan this is it. Go down the inside uh, at the chicane, and uh, he has the move at the moment. Jam is still on his outside. He's going to try and hold it around the outside. He has to give him space, and he does give him a little bit of space. As uh, Jam has to stay behind, he's going to tuck into the slipstream, but Ham will want Racehold to get in on the act. Are they going to go free wide down into the chicane? We have to, and we'll come uh, out of. The corner and they're side by side ham has the high ground ham has the position and ham has third place in this race as the two brothers out front are going at it still uh, for the race win and it's gloves off for those two drivers can jam hold on to at least fourth place position uh, we'll have to wait and see as a uh, race roller is right on the back of him at the moment and uh, jam will be fighting for all it's worth and uh, ham at the moment has got the advantage in the championship and he's got the position ahead of his rival. But these two at the front are going hammer and tong. As a Race Roller is uh, having a look 
as uh, Jam is holding up a tree. He goes wide and Jam picks up a penalty and that's going to make him drop alone more positions. So the championship could be here. One here right now for uh, Ham Jam as Jam has picked up a penalty and I don't see how uh, Jam is going to get anything from this with that three second time penalty unless a big crash happens in behind. They're yeah, fighting for the lead, six tenths. Ham needs 18 points uh, to gain on uh, Jam in this race. And Jam is leaking positions at the moment. Beast goes around his outside. And now Sem is uh, waiting in the wings. And Freeman's waiting in the wings. They're all waiting in the wings. Sem goes down the inside the hairpin. Ham is, and Jam is just dropping like a stone at the moment. Yeah, I think those as, tires uh, are done. On front. And the damage as well. Yeah, and uh, Ham is coming. Baggy Fan gets a 10 second time penalty for corner cut. Not quite sure where he's going there. Uh, but Dino in the lead uh, from his brother. There is no DRS for some of us to fight with. He just needs a good exit out of this uh, final uh, important traction zone, you would say. And he's got it, and he is ahead for now. And uh, we have almost one sector to go. Jam is still dropping in the background. He's dropping all his positions down into P9 now. As uh, Ham is closing in on these two out front. If Ham makes that move, he wins the championship. So they don't want to make a mistake. Is it going to be last gas for Ham at the moment? It is almost done and dusted. As they're side by side in the background, Freeman and Brindy. The front three all separated by just over a second. Darnell, is he going to take a famous victory in the speech race with this wing damage? We have a couple of corners to go. It's been eventful. Four safety cars. And Zarnell has led uh, ever since uh, the uh, third safety car come out. He's come around the final corner now. And he is going to come across the line. The fireworks out for him. And he wins as Hamjam takes the fastest lap. And he already had it. And he's going to take 17 points. And I believe he is going to take a 17 point advantage. And that is 21 points. I believe I think he's that, champ. that is the championship for Hamjam here in Formula 2. And it's well deserved. It all fell apart when he hit Brindy, when Jam hit Brindy. And by my calculations, Hamjam is already champion of Formula 2. Just wow. Well, that's all I can say about that one. A shout out to Jam Ham. He took a massive gamble. And it was just a case of that bit of damage hampered them uh, and then the gamble on the tyres a little bit as well. I thought the safety car might have given them a, a glimmer of hope, but uh, the penalty at the end just added uh, insult to injury. But uh, what a race for the racing that we did have. Yeah, well, Dano wins. Um, it kind of feels a bit... Probably a bit weird. Uh, a bit weird for uh, a bit weird for Darnell. They're winning when the, the championship is already settled now. Uh, Twenty-one points clear, and he's taken the maximum so far. Um, is it uh, for the fastest lap points? And uh, yeah, he uh, as Barlow leaves the session. Um, yeah, he's taken. The maximum he probably could have, as I think the two uh, Darnell brothers were impossible to pass in the end. Um, but yeah, it was the four points for pole were crucial, and then when Jam got damaged, that was crucial, and Jam drops out of the points, and uh, Jam wins. Um, we would have wanted it to go down to the sprint race, um, but we were filled with a lot of action, a lot of safety cars, a lot of action. Darnell. And some of us share one and two. Um, but it's all about the other brothers at the moment. And that is Ham coming out on top. Ahead of his twin brother Jam. And Ham is finally champion of Formula 2. And it's all to play for now in the sprint race. And I believe it's advantage Darnell for P3 in the championship as well. As we are in the daytime. So it'll be intriguing to see how the tyre degradation compares to what we just saw there. Uh, obviously everyone will be on the softs here. So there'll be a few that manage the full race on them. Or the majority of the race there to have the full race here. So I'll be interested if they feel a bit more accustomed to them. 
But uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun here, as I say, with the championship now decided. Maybe the guys will, will just let their hair down and just have a blast, have some fun uh, and fair racing. Yeah, we have a little bit of a break. I think I need a little bit of a break myself because that was uh, a lot. Um, especially in a little bit of a warmer weather uh, we have here. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, it is certainly warm in my in my bedroom at the moment. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the uh, feature race. Um, it's a shame there's no championship to go on in the uh, in the sprint race, but that means gloves are off. Um, I have no idea who's starting from reverse grid pole because I wasn't really paying attention um, to that. I do apologise. I'll have a look at the race director now, and uh, it's McEwen, uh on the reverse grid pole at the moment. Um, so yeah, it, it, we thought. Coming into this, it'd be all about um, Ham and Jam. Turns out the feature race was all about Summoner and Darnell. The uh, Darnell brothers took uh, took the limelight, uh, or tried to take the limelight uh, from the championship battle, and uh, they took one and two, and uh, um, ended up in third place. It was a shame that uh, Jam got that damage in the end, because I'm sure he had as much pace as his brother. Um, but it is, it is uh, definitely been a, a championship to remember, uh, that's for sure. And uh, it has uh, been filled with great racing. And hopefully we can finish off with, a, I want to say, a bang. Hopefully it's not a bang as in loads of crashes like we had in the feature race. But um, yeah, let, let's hope. I feel like we're the way the good set up, though, for this one. There's a real opportunity that this this is open. You know, I mean, I, I could make a case for generally probably most of the top ten, even eleven, could win this race. They all have the ability to do so, in my opinion. So I'm really, really intrigued to see how it goes down. Uh, you get likes the Freeman last ever SLRF two race. You get someone like Sam who usually tends to do better in the the sprint races. Beast is always in about there, McEwen leading for the front is always in about there. The race roller gets a podium every so often, so this is another chance for him to add to that tally. Ham down in six, you've got your top two, seventh and eighth. Brandy's showing what he can do in division one. And then of course you get Jam Ham down in eleventh as well. And you get that, that factor as well, non rip low key. Could be uh, someone that could shock people. So really, really open field for this one. Yeah, so I believe, well, I don't, yeah, we're 25 points. Darnell is comfortable at the moment. I think it would have to take something quite spectacular for Race Roller to overcome him. I'm not sure if it's, it'll be seven points. It is insurmountable now for Summoner to get third place. You can still get fourth place. Um, if he beats Race Roller here, um, I'm not quite sure how many he had. 18. That means Race Roller finished fourth. Uh, six points. That was nine. So he has to beat him by three. I think maybe more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if someone will try and beat Race Roller for fourth in the championship, Race Roller missed out by 13 points. Uh, so the gap is now 15. So that means Race Roller has to win. Uh, and win with fastest lap, actually, um, because Darnell will have more wins, possibly. I no, uh, Yeah, there's a lot that could happen for that, but I think uh, it's a closer battle now between um, Summoner and Race Roller for fourth in the championship. Um, but yeah. Um, Ham is our champion mate. and uh, it's just uh, all to play for in uh, in this sprint race and uh, hopefully there's not as many well there's less chance as many safety cars I don't think we can fit four um, safety cars in otherwise we'd be doing the whole race under a safety car 
We'll give you a prediction for this one. I'm going to go with OG James to score some points. Come on, James, you can do it. Let's finish this season on a high. <laughs> um, hopefully, you haven't put the commentator's curse on him. We will have to wait and see. Um, he's starting right at the back on the down slope at the final corner. Um, but you never know. Keep his nose clean. Hopefully, this time he doesn't get it involved in an accident that wasn't his fault and uh we'll wait and see um but yeah McEwen at the front then comes Freeman Sem in third Beast has decided to go off-roading um he is in fourth place then comes Brace Roller uh our newly crowned champion um uh Summers in seventh for us um and then end out our reverse grid. Um, Darnell. Then comes Brindy. Uh, tenth is Loki. I mean, that was a good race for him, to be fair. Um, what I didn't realise is we'd never picked a driver of the day for the uh, for the feature race because I was too busy thinking about championship. But um, yeah, I, I have no idea. If uh, anybody who's watching in the chat wants to give a a driver of the day for the uh, feature race please do before we get underway um i don't know who i'd give it to um but yeah i think maybe darnell or summers or any i don't know actually to be honest but um yeah maxwell if you got any opinions on that feel free yeah it's, it's tricky because there is obviously not many laps of racing but I think maybe, maybe you do look at Darnell for making the strategy work and obviously defending out at the front. But it's still, um, there's many you can yeah, give uh, that to. Just to interrupt, I think uh, Barlow needs an invite to the game. Oh, I don't no know who problem. he's back in. But yeah, um, that is, I think, uh, yeah, well, there wasn't much racing. And I think, uh, yeah, I'd say Darnell. And there's been some incidents in the back. With a few disqualifications. Not sure what has gone on there. Um, Try to find them. But oh, you bubble. Let's hope we can get him back in. Um, be a shame for him not to not to be able to race. Yes. Uh, James has sent an invite as well. And we wait for the cars at the back to uh, get onto uh, the grid. And then we wait for the five red lights for the final time on this game. Invite sent. Season three. The final race will be underway shortly. We already know the ham is the champion, but the gloves are off for the rest of them. The five red lights are now on ahead of the drivers and we are underway for the sprint race for the final time as it's a good start for Sem and he's already up into second place. Is Freeman going to hold it down the inside? He is. Oh, there's a bit of contact, a bit of wheel banging and uh, race rollers looking interested. He's already up in P4. There's a yellow flag already. It's a VSC and there's a lot of collisions going on in the background. Um, Original's got a penalty. I assume that's for contact under VSC, probably through no fault of his own. Alan as well, probably didn't have enough time to react. Um, but yeah, VSC already. It's not like they want us to race, clearly. Um, we want some action. Um, but the fast start there was uh, from Sem and uh, Race Roller. Uh, well, I'd seen the, the, the damage. I've obviously, I've seen about the VWT. Um wing on the ground so that's obviously had a bit of damage i saw baggy get a bit of a hit as well so that's uh at least two people that had a bit of contact there uh i'm not too sure if i've seen barlow rejoin i'll try one more time with an invite just to be on the, the safe side uh, not too sure but we are green flag racing once again and uh McEwen has uh got caught napping a little bit there but um he is uh fine at the end of the the second straight and he leads the cars through the final sector and they all line astern as uh, there's moves in the background uh going on for the minor place and the car off the track 
at the moment. It looks like men's possibly off the track. And uh, down in 16th place. And uh, But he has rejoined safely. And uh, there's a train of cars all within a second. Um, not sure where in Van Dorn, but I think uh, every car is fighting for position at the moment. And Van Dorn is right behind uh, Loki by the looks of it. He is. And there's blue flags, but I think that's just a game bugging out at the moment. McEwen sets fastest lap. He's in the lead. Race Roller is ahead of Freeman. No, that's just a game uh, bugging out. I thought someone had spun there, but they haven't. And uh, we're underway once again. As a beast has uh, dropped back a little bit. It's a yellow flag as Alan has retired in the pit lane. As a uh, yeah, so he will be taking no farther further part in proceedings. As it looks like McEwen has got the upper hand at the moment on Sim behind him, and Sim is the one under pressure at the moment. A bit more as a. Uh, a bit more than Freeman is, but he's still within DRS range at the moment. And uh, DRS will be enabled at the end of this lap. And uh, it looks like they're side by side, actually. Summers has got a good run. And he's going to go around the outside. Now he's going to have the inside. He's going to have the high ground. He's going to force his rival off. And uh, Beast is going to put his foot flat to the floor. As they're going to make it free wide in the background. Ham is going to try and go around the outside of him both. He's going to go two for the price of one. Uh, summoners ahead going into the chicane as they appear from behind. It is Summoners who does make the pass over Beast and Beast drops two positions in the space of about 10 seconds, 10-15 seconds and he is now down into P7. As uh, they do go side by side and, uh, almost in the background and they're almost three cars. You throw a blank over and Darnell around the outside. Brindy there's a bit of contact. Jamham it's two for the price of one as they come together. And uh, Jam is now up into P8. And uh, they're sliding about in the background. And Jam says, thank you very much. I will take that position. Flag. These cars off. It's James. And it looks like the commentator's curse is out in full force. And it is James is off in the final sector. And there's a few faster slaps going on by everyone in the top four. And the other in sector three, Loki. Bam's car right. Yep. Loki is recovered now. I'll quickly go back up towards Freeman. Is he looking to go for a move? No, he's going to go for the switchback. Now he's going to try go around the outside of the hairpin. It's going to be tough to go around the outside there, but he's going to put his rival Sim under pressure, but Sim gets a great exit. And now the DRS is going to be in full force, so it's going to be even tougher to overtake. Um, but McEwen leads us all the way down the straight. He goes right to the inside, and then the track cuts uh, in with the blue stripe. And uh, he goes to the outside of the circuit now. And he stays ahead. And uh, he will uh, have to defend once again. as a second by the cherry. Sim gets a great run out of the, of the chicane. And he's going to go with the move. He's going to have the DRS. He's going to have the slipstream. He's going to have the outside line going in to the sh triple chicane. Is he going to have the move? Is he going to have the lead? They're very close together. Sem makes the move around the outside. And Sem is up into first place in the, in the sprint race. And uh, McEwen is going to fight back, but it's not going to be enough for now. Sim is going to have the high ground going into his double right-hander. And he's going to go into the breaking zone, and he's going to stay ahead for now. And it uh, looks like it was almost a little bit of a tap in the back. But McEwen has to settle for second place, and Sim makes a great move up into first place. We're also a good move there. Ham Jam on Southerner. Just basically set his car up perfectly. Get a better launch out of the chicane than Southerner. And uh, made the move into the other shaky game at the end of sector two. Uh, so a good move there from the champion. And he sets the fastest lap. He's on his way to fight these four at the front. And uh, he'll be licking his lips. Uh, that's for sure. As, uh, they're very close behind Subliners now. And uh, Jam is looking for a move on the other Sharu's cars. Sharu's cars are under pressure at the moment. Is Jam going to go down the inside? No, he uh, thinks better of it and stays behind for now. And maybe he can get two for the price of one down the straight. Uh, but Race Roller uh, trying his best to have a go at winning this race. Um, and that's the only way he can get third place in the championship. 
uh, Roller in the slipstream, McEwen in the slipstream. McEwen is going to pull to the inside and he's going to take back the lead of this sprint race. Is Race Roller going to have a go? No, he sticks behind. Still side by side. And they're having a go at it. Once again, McEwen around the outside. Does he get the DRS? No. It's Sem who gets the DRS. So is Sem just going to waltz straight back past uh, McEwen. It's going to be the inside. It's going to be outside. Slad leaves the session. He's going to squeeze him to the outside. It's McEwen. He really wants to keep this P1. It's going to be same again for Sem. No, he keeps on the track just about. He has to cut the corner. And he has to give up the position. And uh, he is now in second place and stays in second place. Race Roller has made a move behind. It looks like Freeman has made a mistake possibly somewhere as so he's dropped yeah, back yep, quite a bit from Race Roller. On that, so basically coming out the, the, the long straight into the breaking point, Freeman actually spun a little. It actually ended up in to the wing of Race Roller. I think Race Roller might have damaged as well. Um, it might need the nerve doing of that one. So if they start to be a little bit slower, that is the reason why. It doesn't look like Race Roller's got uh, visible damage, but uh, Freeman definitely does have visible damage. And it uh, should be easy for Ham. Well, Ham will be happy to see that as uh, mm -hmm. Roller takes out the 50 metre brake marker board, but that is useless for that corner, especially in these cars. And uh, he seems to be fine at the moment. Um, we'll see how Freeman mm -hmm. copes with that damage, but. The top eight within DRS range of each other and Darnell just lagging behind at the moment but uh, if he can get involved that would be 10 cars within DRS range of each other. Um, only eight cars score points but they're, Maxwell as you can see on this straight there is a lot of cars just waiting in the wings for moves. That's the thing, one person makes a mistake and many many people can benefit from it so it is a case of just making sure you don't get in the power too early. As that could oh, as Sim goes, Sim goes deep. Maybe Race Roller will have a little look here. Um, Sim does have a DRS, um, so that might just help him out here. Race Roller is close. It isn't going to be close enough to make a move. I don't think so. It's going to be too far back. It's going to have to be a, a lunge and a half to get past there. And uh, he does break later, um, but he has run out oh. of road. It uh, looks like Freeman has gone off the track in the background. Picked up a three-second time penalty. Yeah, I don't know if it was maybe just... An issue with brakes, but way wide there, and as you say, that three setting penalty that's going to cost them a lot of places. It is indeed. Sam is under pressure at the moment, and uh, McEwen maybe can improve the side for these. These cameras are awful. Someone has picked up a three second time penalty now, um, so uh, he is going to struggle to make any decent progress now after that. Oh, and Freeman oh, there's a spin again. Up. Freeman is off and into the barrier. And he is down and has definitely got damage now. It hasn't shown up, but he's going to come into the pit lane because the pit lane is right there. And uh, he is now out of contention as uh, he speeds in the pit lane as well for good measure. He's now out of contention uh, for any good points scoring position unless a miracle happens. And so he is retired from uh, the session as well. So it hasn't ended the way Freeman would have wanted, unfortunately, uh, from where he started. And he is now out of this race. But we still have a fight for lead on our hands. And Hamdam is just going to start to roll up to the back and hopefully he doesn't get overtaken by Summoners. As uh, McEwen is probably looking in his looking in his uh, wing mirror. more he's looking forward at the moment. Um, because he has an onslaught behind him. As uh, Darnell still struggling at the moment to keep up with this train. I don't know if he's got any sort of damage or not. But he's uh, really struggling at the moment to keep up with the pack. As uh, Night Ranger picks up a penalty, here comes Sem in the slipstream. Is he going to go for the move? He's going to go. Is he going to stick behind? Looks like he is, and McEwen does take the corner. And he stays ahead for now, and he is still in first. And he's trying his best to stay ahead. Maxwell, you know all about dogged defences of positions, and uh, he <laughs> he's certainly doing one of those drives at the moment. Yep, that's it. Just put your car in the right places and... Well, so we've got different F2, obviously you can't utilise your battery to effect here, but that's just a case of just make your car as big as possible. Uh, yeah, your yellow flag, I think it might be... i trying to see who that was there. Well, it seems to have quickly dispersed. Um, might have been Van Dorn, possibly. Van Dorn, yeah. Seems like Van Dorn. Sam has had a, uh, maybe a little bit of a moment coming through turn 20 and race rolls right 
on his gearbox, but same has still got the DRS, so he just needs to not make any mistakes in the in the uh, traction zones where the DRS isn't available, and he'll keep this position. Um, but yeah, he's really under pressure at the moment, and it seems to be Sem under pressure more than McEwen. Uh, but when we get into the DRS, it's uh, McEwen under pressure. And Sem is the one giving the pressure to McEwen. But at the moment, McEwen is holding firm. And it is a seven-way, you could say a six-way scrap. But some of this is probably not probably not going to be in this fight for the win. But in that fight for pride, at least. As a Sem is in the slipstream once again. And it's affected the DRS train. And you need, really, the guys at the front to battle for any moves to happen in behind or a mistake from the drivers in the in the middle of the pack. Sem has DRS once again, but he seems to be too far back at the moment to make any sort of moves. Summers is the closest. Is he going to go for any moves? We'll have a look. He's going to have a little nose. So he's there. Check picks up a time penalty. Uh, but he is down in 11th place a long way off the points as uh, Beast picks up a time penalty. I just wonder there is because we've got such a big train um, and obviously Darnell just seems to be going further and further back. I don't know if it's just a case of because they're all within DRS, that's kind of giving them that advantage, which is just a, a making sure that, that Darnell and Brindy can't catch her. I thought I was going to move there from Jam Ham, but it was just the way he took the corner. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it just seems to be McEwen saying ahead. Yellow flag, that is Van Dorn this time. He is off in the final sector and he has got away again so seems to have a little bit of issue with a couple of corners in the final sector as their jam is right on the back of beast and he's going to try and make a move soon but he can't make a move at the moment everyone's in drs he's hoping for a mistake or he's hoping for some battle and scrub ahead and uh the concertina effect um but at the moment it is these seven line of stern and darnell dropping off the back and brindy boy is going to be Looking very interested to try and make that move up into the points paying positions as a Sem is dropping uh, further and further back. And it's oh, like a bit of a shape there, a bit wobbly. That's yes. good. Um, up for Brindy. As a Sem is kind of hanging on at the moment. Looks like Brindy in the background might have a move. Is Ham going to have a go at race roller? No. He yep, Brindy makes it. And uh, yeah, there it is. Brindy does make that move. He is up into P8 and uh, one world championship point at the moment goes to him, but I'm sure uh, that Darnell is going to fight back and he is going to have the DRS. He's going to have the slipstream. Is he going to have the move? Is Brindley going to defend? He kind of defends the middle of the track and uh, he can't go inside, can't go outside. And uh, Brindley does stay ahead as uh, men speeds into the pit lane and uh, he is a long way back at the moment and hasn't gone his way tonight at all. Um, but yeah, Sem is really struggling at the moment. And it looks like he is turning to be the cork in the bottle. And a bit of breathing space for McEwen. If he can just pull out of that DRS range, it, it could just be P1 for him at the moment. And uh, will he survive the onslaught from the rest of the drivers? Sem is just about hanging on at the moment. Hanging on by a thread to that uh, DRS zone. McEwen is about 8 tenths, now 7 tenths clear. And Race Roller is pushing Sem along to try and make him catch up uh, to the back of McEwen. And uh, McEwen is driving great at the moment to stay ahead. And it's almost a second. The, de the detection point is just out of this chicane. And I think McEwen is... Uh, oh, he looks like he's made a mistake, possibly. Or Sem has gone a little bit deep. Sem did go a little bit deep. And he lost time, but he does. Importantly pick up the DRS but he's made he's gone deep again in uh, at the hairpin and now race roller is going to be right on the back of him he does have DRS they both have DRS but he's got big slipstream is he going to gain enough he is gaining he is gaining is he going to gain enough is he going to go down the side no he doesn't go down the side Sem breaks late is that a little bit too late as a uh, lap car gets out of the way uh, very nicely indeed and uh, Sem hangs on once again and he stays ahead stays in second place and it uh, has got uh, comfort now. And it uh, looks like Race Roller has, is going to have to stick behind. I'm sure Race Roller is getting very annoyed in that cockpit. And so is everybody else behind. I was wondering there if McEwen was actually getting any sort of toll. I know he wasn't getting DRS, but even like any sort of toll from Jaylee Men's getting into that. 
Yamaguchi came there, so that's obviously helped him a little bit there, but two laps to go, can Sam claw any sort of gap, can he keep these tyres operating at a good enough window to, to keep him in contention here? Because I feel like if he loses that DRS, it could be a very tricky final lap. It could certainly unravel very quickly, and uh, Sam has uh, had a better lap this time round. And uh, he is uh, still well within the DRS range of McEwen in front of him. McEwen has not won a race so far this season. And I'm sure he will be wanting to win uh, tonight. That And uh, he has the best possible opportunity to do that, being in the lead. He is gapping Sem all the time through this first sector. And it's still almost uh, over a second and Ray Schroeder is getting very interested indeed and uh, he is in that slipstream DRS but with Sem getting the DRS it's just going to be too far behind so it's just status quo as we were going into this chicane and uh, going into the next straight uh, it's just whether anybody makes a mistake uh, going on to this lap and, last lap and a half of this championship otherwise there's going to be no moves going on and uh, we'll all stay in position it is a uh, a big train as uh, Darnell is a uh, back ahead at Brindy at the moment and they're fighting for one world championship point as uh, Beast looks very close to the back of Summers he's trying to line up a move and maybe Jamham will look interested but he knows he's going to get those positions anyway as Sem picks up a time penalty so he is going to be out of contention for the race win now and it is advantage McEwen uh, for this race winner's race roller his nearest rival uh, who doesn't have a penalty is in third place and about a second behind and uh, Sem is uh, going to drop out of the podium places and that will promote Hammer and Sem has spun Sem has spun and it seems maybe it's out of frustration who knows but Sem has spun and he's got massive damage and that promotes uh, Brindy and Darnell up into the points and uh, Ham is going to be officially onto the podium this time Sem spins and he'll be annoyed about that, but I'm sure he's annoyed about the penalty in the first place. And uh, he's going to have no points to show to his efforts. And he uh, has retired from the session, so he is definitely annoyed with that. Now, Race Roller is definitely going to have a go. He Has he got the pace? As Race Roller goes very wide indeed, but he doesn't pick up any sort of time penalties. He goes deep again, and he managed to get it slowed down. And is Race Roller going to take the victory here? He doesn't have the fastest lap, but he does need the fastest lap, I think, if he's going to take third in the championship. If I, if uh, he does, but he is a long way back, and Ham is closer of them both. So is Ham going to take the victory here? He has come alive out of absolutely nowhere, kept his head clean. He's going to break, but he's going to have to wait and see if there's anything that unfolds. You'll find gonna, sector two. I'll try and find that. For my egg, it's a Arden car. Uh, and looks like that is men's at the back now race roller in the slipstream in the DRS is he going to go to the inside he's going to go to the outside McEwen's going to defend he's been leading this race all the time and this race roller going to take it away from him right at the death he is he's going to go right around the outside he's going to make that move and now McEwen's under pressure from Hamjam but race roller is now in the lead and he's taking it away from McEwen right at the death and uh, it's just a few corners to go for Race Roller to take the victory. Oh, McEwen sent it deep. Oh, McEwen's gone deep. And now Ham is going to try and go around the outside. It's not really a great camera angle, but he's going to make that move. And he has made that move. Uh, but it's just a shame for McEwen. He is going to finish on the podium. Uh, but he has fought the whole race. And it's just come undone in the final sector. And it is going to be Race Roller who takes the crown at the final race here in F2. Race Roller wins the F2 sprint race in Abu Dhabi. Championship winner Hamjam comes home in second. McEwen rounds out the podium in third place after leading for so, so long. And Jamham comes home in fourth. Brindy ends up in fifth place. Summoners in sixth. Darnell uh, Beast in seventh. And Darnell rounds out the points in eighth. But Race Roller, it was brave in the end. And uh, he got it done. And he got it done well. Uh, congratulations to Race Roller, just a bit of patience there. I mean, the opportunities opened up on those last couple of laps, gaining from the the unfortunate situation with Sam, um, but then gaining, gaining, and then passing by McEwen to take 
a victory in the final Formula 2 race of the year. I think that is McEwen's first podium, actually. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I think they are tied on points, Race Roller and Darnell after that. No, they're not, because Darnell got one point, because of same spin. Uh, Darnell, I think, when, well, if not wins, he uh, gets third place by just the one point. Uh, in the end, um, a bit sigh of relief. Um, so he finished rounds out the podium of the championship. Um, but it is Ham Jam's day here in Abu Dhabi, as uh, Czech is uh, making some interesting lines. And it looks like he's got a puncture actually <laughs> on the rear left. So he's doing these donuts early. Yep, same for Chile men's rear. Well, this is basically the max for Stappen. Pirelli, what are you doing, Kyle? Yeah, they uh, tried to think they were doing donuts on the last lap and they have decided to burn out their rear tyres. And uh, yeah, well, there you go. There's a uh, check spins across the line. We wait for we wait for men's. Um, but yeah, I think Darnell would have, Darnell would have got uh, third place on uh, on second places anyway if they'd uh, the world is men's is time to his donuts early. Do, uh, men's, can you please cross the line if you're listening? Because uh, they're going to do donuts after this anyway. And we would really love Wait, to see get, who the top three uh, are. <laughs> top three are. Um, you can probably invite Ham already. And Race Roller as well, I assume, will be definitely one and two. Um, so I'd invite Ham. Whether or not we invite Jam or not is up to him mm -hmm. um i mean we can invite who we want to be honest um at this point end of the championship um but yeah they're done and dusted hey, as, uh, <laughs> try over the day is Thank you, James. he might not have got a point but he got drive of the day He's my driver uh, a bit. <laughs> I think uh I think we'll give this one uh to give this one to race roller. Um I know he's the winner but I think mm. it, it's only right. Uh he made that move and he was biding his time in the end. As a so hand picks up the fastest lap point again. Arnell and Rishroller. I'm Jam Rishroller, Darnell. And uh, yeah, well, obviously, here from the winner, the winner, the winner, and the winner. The three winners of tonight we'll hear from. It's unfortunate for Jam in the end. Um, he tried his best and it wasn't enough. And, uh, Ham takes the crown and takes his first crown in Formula 2. He needed something to show for his 1,000 points plus in Formula 2. And he finally got it. Uh, but for this sprint race, it was Race Roller's uh, time. And he managed to get past McEwen at turn 12 uh, to take the victory away once Sem had spun and gave him free reign to have a go. And there your top eight from that race. There's the top eight covered by 6.7 seconds from the checkered flag. And uh, we have our three, uh, top three scorers from these two races and qualifying. So uh, Maxwell, if you want to do third and second, then I will do first. No problem at all. So in third place over the course of the weekend, we had uh, Darnell. Qualifying, how did you feel your lap went in qualifying, Darnell? Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, it was, yeah, I, I was pretty happy with the lap to and I was surprised the end, less than a tenth of um, Ham in the end. I thought it would be a little bit more. But um, yeah, I was happy with it. So, uh, front row again. Still can't get Paul. <laughs> but I'll keep trying. <laughs> 
I think it's one of those laps where you were like, when I was watching the game screens on the left hand side, I think you were literally still in the lead, kind of that last corner, so it just shows how close you are getting. But if you don't succeed in qualifying, you succeed in the feature race, the safety car derby. How did you feel with that, especially with the strategy you were on? Um, I picked the right strategy, clearly, but um, it was probably the most boring race of my life. I just sat behind a safety car for like 90% of it. Um, and to be, to be fair, I pretty much fluked the win. I made a mistake on my softs and the, on the super softs at the start. And then as soon as I was about to be overtaken, the safety car come out. And then it come out like another two times, which just pretty much made me hold on to the win. And I'll finish up with your sprint race there, eighth position, the single point. Uh, did you have some fun battles with Brindy? Actually, we were on board for, for a good little bit. It did seem like quite competitive between you two. Yeah, it was actually yeah, it was a good battle with him. Um, I think there was a bit of a contact at the start. I think first couple of laps lost me half a win. Um, but yeah, it was pretty much impossible to keep up with the top eight without you know missing an end plate. But I had a good battle with Brindy. We overtook each other a couple of times, so kept me op- occupied. <laughs> That's, I suppose then that wind damage to the end plate does see how you just couldn't catch up to that that DRS train effectively so that damage would have been yeah. because of that yeah uh, yeah yeah after, after you I was yeah in the feature race I had half a wing as well <laughs> like um I can't remember where I lost it but yeah I pretty much drove the whole weekend with half a wing so when I had when I made that damage in the sprint I was it I knew kind of what to expect straight away so I was able to adapt quite quickly mm, you, you would have had the experience as you say of you know, yeah. the damage car and how to handle it. But I will say, congratulations on the, the win in the feature race. Uh, Jeez, congratulations uh, on the Yeah, congratulations season. to Ham. I just want to say, before I... Um, I'm not allowed to speak anymore. <laughs> well done. And congratulations <laughs> to Jam as well. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> no, no problem at all. No problem, thank you. We'll move on to second place. That was Race Roller. Roller, you are fourth in quality. How did you feel about your lap? It's pretty good. Could have been better. I had a huge slide in sector three, I think it was. But pretty happy with P4. One of my better laps that I'd done, so I couldn't really complain too much about that, I don't think. Do you feel the slide cost you like much if it could have got you further second or first possibly? Or do you feel like fourth was kinda of fair reflective on the lap? Uh, don't really I don't remember the time difference between us. I might have been able to get third, but I like normally around top five qualifying, so I think fourth was fairly representative of the lap. So yeah, no problem. And on the the feature race, uh, fourth place for yourself there. How did you feel in that race? Bored. I'll be honest. All the safety cars was slightly annoying me a wee bit. I'll be honest because I thought it was going to be one of them situations where the likes of myself and Ham were going to get a bit shafted because of all the early safety cars. But didn't pan out that way. I was able to make the super softs last for about half the race at the end, thanks to even more safety cars. And I was pretty happy with fourth. Couldn't really get any more out of it. So, yeah, it was pretty decent, I think. And never mind decent, we're going to talk about a success story the sprint race. Victory there. Uh, was it just a case of, of being patient and, and waiting to the, the best opportunity when, when Sam? spins out and then the opportunity is just there you've got the DRS on my cubes just a case of this is my chance now yeah pretty much I knew if Sam stayed where he was and didn't spin I would have just been well I would have obviously taken him because he had a penalty but so I was pretty comfortable expecting second and then he spun out and I was like okay I can maybe get the one here and then yeah I was just about able to catch up to him and get around him there was a wee bit of contact but I don't think it was any sort of penalty worthy. Obviously I punted Freeman but I've seen the clip and I personally think more of a racing incident than anything. But yeah, I've had I think two wins this season compared to my one. I only had one last season so it's an improvement even if it's only been in the last two weekends where I've got the wins. Um, congrats obviously to him. I think it is, I hope it is, for winning mm-hmm. the F2. He's been amazing all season. Jam as well, commiserations to him. He's been, they've both been in a league of their own. Hopefully they're not racing next season to give everyone else a chance. And uh, 
Yeah. But yeah, as I say, congratulations, as I say, on the, the victory in the sprint race. As I say, it may be the last couple of weeks of the season that you gathered results, but it's certainly momentum that you can take in going forward. So congratulations uh, and all the best this weekend as well in your uh, elite race. Yeah, thank you. So then, on to our championship winner. Um, uh, yeah, I think, obviously, well done, well done on the uh, championship firstly. How's it? How does it feel to finally, finally be champion? Uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Um, I mean, I think it's been kind of a long time coming, but also at the same time, obviously, given how how good the competition's been um, the, the last few seasons, obviously, it's uh, it's it's not been easy at all by any means. Yeah. So uh, obviously, you got pole position, and uh, yeah, you're going to do some do some lovely donuts for us now. <laughs> I mean. Could have been better, but we won't talk about that. I'm warming up. Luckily, 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 you've luckily you've driven better uh, than you're doing your donuts. Well, that's much better anyway. Um, but there you go. There's uh, there's your money shot for everyone watching. Um, obviously, you had <laughs> you, <laughs> you had qualifying, and uh, obviously, what was your thought process after qualifying? Once you got that pole position, seeing seeing uh, seeing jam down in. 18th, I think it was. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, first and foremost, um, I think the two lobby restarts um, helped in one way and didn't in another. Like, they helped in the sense that I could get a couple of little practice laps in, which was nice. Um, they didn't help in the sense that, obviously, the pressure that was already there is kind of being added to as you're waiting for 20 minutes longer than you really should be. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, during the lap, it was a really nice lap, felt really good. Um, I, I knew straight away as soon as James invalidated about halfway through the lap, or whatever. Um, I wouldn't say I really played it any safer than I normally would after that. I mean, I was still going for it. Obviously, I knew how important pole would be. Um, so yeah, obviously it kind of eased that pressure a little bit. But uh, I mean, given the way that the feature rate went and and could have could have gone, then I think uh, it shows that it, it wasn't a given anyway. Just just getting pole. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, you probably knew. That um, Jam had a, had that penalty, and uh, um, yeah, what was it? What was it like when you when you did cross the line for that future race? Well, yeah, I mean, relief. I think we were kind of working out the points in the party, um, trying to sort of work it out, um, all the permutations and whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, at that point, obviously, um, I was I was confident I'd done it. Um, Apparently, I've been involved in some sort of incident, so I don't know what we'll to see on that one. But um, but yeah, we were kind of working it out. Um, obviously, James came eleventh anyway, so I, I knew that even if I do end up with some penalty for whatever reason that will be, I don't know um, that I can. That I'd, as long as I finish ahead of him in the in the sprint, then it would it would be enough as well after that. Yeah, and uh, well, I. I would say that the sprint race was probably quite boring for you because I don't think you... Well, you made some overtakes, but you didn't make that many overtakes, really. Um, not as many as you probably would have wanted, but, I mean, you took P2 in the end and that was really it. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a bit of a weird one, really, because, uh, again, kind of just got bogged down a little bit off the start, but um, I was kind of just wanting to avoid incidents and, and everything, so I ended up... Um, I ended up yeah down in seventh or whatever. Um set the fastest lap in clean clean air, so I think that showed obviously my pace um was was right up there and then yeah, it ended up just being in a train and I mean I was saying James and I in the party we were both like, Oh well we know how they felt in twenty ten or whenever it was when they just couldn't overtake it. I think it was Petrov. Like, um felt faster but obviously just couldn't overtake. Um and then, yeah, by virtue of the, the guys in front making mistakes, I, I somehow ended up second. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I was, I was pleased with that. Uh, well, well done on the championship. Uh, you finally, finally got there. Um, took you longer than, took you longer than you maybe would have wanted, but <laughs> it, it's there in the end. And uh, you have that star under your name. So. Uh, well done yeah, yeah thanks guys uh, can I just say well done to James first and foremost obviously um, been a brilliant teammate um, you know right from the start we were fighting we weren't you know playing the team game as it were but obviously uh, the way it worked out we, we won the constructors pretty convincingly but then as well um, 
everyone that's racing the season, like Zai, uh, Darnell, Sona, Roller, all those people right at the front, um, you know, fighting with us week in, week out. They've not made it easy by any stretch. Uh, so, yeah, well, well done to everyone, but uh, but those especially, uh, I mean, Beast McEwen as well. Um, I mean, there's, uh, obviously, there's a lot of, I've not mentioned a lot, I've forgotten, but, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I don't know if you mentioned it, Maxwell, but I was going to say, Darnell, you... I got third in the championship by one point, so yeah, I figured that one out. I saw it. I was literally waiting for the uh, <laughs> waiting for the flag to drop at the end. I was like, "Have I beaten Roller?" And then yeah. <laughs> no, I think we worked out that he had to outscore you because you had uh, more second places than him. Well, he had, hadn't got any. So, um, but yeah, obviously, well done that uh, getting third place. So Maxwell, <laughs> the season is over. What uh, what are your final thoughts on Formula Two in season three? More of that second race and less safety cars, but no, overall, um, fantastic season, really, really enjoyable. Um, as I say, especially in those kind of sprint races as well, where you just have so many guys that are capable of getting victories. It's really, really good, and as I've continually stated, the the fact that we can see guys for Division 3 compete against guys for 2, 1 and Elite, it just makes it a fantastic spectacle. And I really hope that there's maybe people out there that maybe aren't too keen on the Formula 2 cars that maybe enjoy them uh, once the new game launches and, and maybe consider joining the F2 League because it is an absolute pleasure to watch uh, and it isn't too bad to drive. I'm just not very good at it, which is why I'm in the box. Yeah, um, well, I mean... I think that's why I decided to come back to the, to the box as well. So, uh, but let's say that there. I do believe that someone has joined the party and he would like to have a word. F2 admin, of course. Hello. Um, so I will leave the floor to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to watch this one back, if I'm honest. Um, I just wanted to thank all the F2 drivers for taking part this season, uh, especially Ham and Jam and Zyjad for when he was there for putting on an absolute amazing show. If anything, they probably uh, they probably sold F2 better than I've done uh, on Discord alone, just for making it so exciting uh, to watch and to be racing in. And uh, what's made it also extra exciting is having you two on comms uh, for most of the time. You two, absolutely fantastic together. I've been very vocal that as a duo, you are both absolutely fantastic. And uh, it is a massive shame, Mercs, that at the moment it looks like you're not going to be here in the box again next season, but uh, me and my brother will, will almost do anything to make sure that you uh, you remain in the comms box. So uh, hopefully you do have a change of heart, but if not, then uh, thank you for everything you've done uh, on the track and off it, mate. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to next season. Hopefully we'll have two championships on the line. Uh, of course, we've got the introduction of the EVA class. So uh, yeah, roll on two, three months time. Yeah, more mathematics for everyone to to work out. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a up and down season for most people. It's uh, it's been topsy turvy. It's been frenetic. It's been the racing has been unbelievable. There's been crashes and drama and everything that Formula Two brings. It's just been high quality throughout, and uh, no more so than the feature race uh, tonight that uh, that brought as well. I uh, I like to say thank you to Maxwell for joining me uh, along this journey that we've had this season. It has been wonderful. I'd like to thank uh, Original for when he was here as well, and I'd like to thank the F2 drivers for. Putting on a spectacle week in week out uh, might not have gone, might not have gone uh, everyone's way each week, but uh, it's the highs and lows of the sport we know and love. Um, but that will be all from me here in Formula Two. It's been a pleasure uh, for me, and I hope it's been a pleasure for you. And uh, we will see you for the conclusion of our Formula One championships. For across the weekend but for now it's goodbye <laughs>